Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The First Minister clearly doesn't get it. Otherwise, she would not be trying to spread the blame to everyone but herself. But the public and the taxpayer certainly get it, because they see right to the heart of this matter that the minister who signed off this flawed scheme, who consciously, deliberately took out the tariff tiering that was in the GB template and put in only the high tariff, that that minister and no one else is the author of this squander made instalment. And there's no hiding place for the First Minister on that seminal issue because it is her signature and hers alone which signed off this scheme on the 13th of April 2012 when she signed the declaration, I have read the regulatory impact assessment and I am satisfied that the benefits justify the costs. Signed Arlene Foster, Minister of Debt. Not signed by some hapless civil servant. Not signed by some nameless consultant. Signed by the Minister. And yet, when faced with the consequences of her negligence, oh, it's the civil servant's fault. It's the consultant's fault. It's even Mr. McLone's fault. It's all our faults. But it's not Arlene's fault. Sorry, Arlene Foster and Arlene Foster alone signed this scheme into existence. And from that flows the runaway nature of this scheme and the debt of the future. But you didn't just fail there. In 2013, Cambridge Economics said you need to get tiered tariffs into this scheme. Department on Arlene Foster's watch ignored it. In 2014, Ofgem said the same. You need to get tiered tariffs into this scheme. On Arlene's watch, ignored. And when this scheme was approved, in 2012 by DFP, by the supply officer. The letter of approval said, this scheme must be reapproved in March 2015. The responsibility for ensuring that happened rested with Detti. But it didn't happen because, again, asleep at the wheel and the opportunity to correct it, to catch on, to get the tearing into it, was missed. And all the department can say is administrative oversight. No, not administrative oversight. Minister asleep at the wheel. And then, lo and behold, when suddenly the catch on, this did need to be reapproved, it is finally sent to DFP. And who is the minister by that stage in DFP? Mrs. Arling Foster. And who in October 2015? And I remind the House, this is at the height of the spike of applications. Right at the height of the spike. Who is the minister heading the department that in October 2015 reapproves the scheme? Mrs. Arlene Foster. So whether in Detti or whether in DFP, asleep at the wheel. And yet, yes. Member agrees with me that uh, the attempt of the DUP to uh, cast the blame across the chamber ignores the fact that the scheme voted for in February by the opposition was the amended scheme. Absolutely, we heard some Member nonsense has an today. Extra minute. Thank you. We heard some nonsense today that we all voted. Some of us voted against the closure of the scheme. No, we did not. We voted against the closure of the amended scheme. The scheme that was amended in November that put the tears into it, that was then rectified, then became a fair scheme, 
That's the scheme that was closed in February 2016, not, not the scheme in its original form with its runaway expenditure. That's the scheme that the DUP brought in and that the Minister repeatedly endorsed. And then there's the question. We've heard much talk of affirmation, oh, we want public inquiries, do you? Because if you do, then you'll commit to one under the Inquiries Act, because only such an inquiry can call witnesses, compel witnesses. But there are DUP members on these benches who could tell a lot about this scheme, who could tell about their party donors who have benefited. Lord Morrow, the party chairman, has disappeared. He could tell us quite a lot about party donors who benefited. Ask, ask there, are other members, his remarks. there are other members on those benches whose friends and family benefited from this scheme, as well as the friends and family of SPADs. But it's everyone's fault. Members, time is up. Sorry, that's Members not how the public...